Okay, uh, let's go over day four, number two. Right, so compound G, so compound G has, it says uh, compound G has 20% uh, oh here, 20% compound A. So we have 20% and compound A. And then 80% of something else. So we don't know what it is, right? So we're trying to find that. All right, so uh, we know that the uh, compound A had 3.1% uh, gold. So uh, it's going to be, so 3.1, then you multiply by 20%. So I'm going to multiply by 0 0.2, right? And plus, right? So I don't know what uh, this is. I'm going to, so we don't know what the percentage gold is for the unknown compound. But we have to multiply that number by 0 0.8. And uh, this has to be compound G, so 7.3. Right, so we just have to solve this equation. So this is going to give you, uh, if you multiply that out, so 2 times uh, 1 is 2, and uh, 2 times 3 is 6, and uh, 1, 2, so 1, 2, so 0 0.62 and plus uh, 0.8x is equal to 7.3, All right? Then we can just uh, subtract 0 0.62 from both sides so that the 0.8x is equal to, uh, let's see, uh, let's see it's 10 minus 2 is 8, and uh, two, 12 minus 6 is 6, and uh, seven, uh, 6 minus 0 is 6, All right? So we just have to uh, divide through by 0 0.8. So x is going to be equal to, All right? So we have to do this, 6.68 divided by 0 0.8. Right, uh, we can just move the decimal point one notch for both ones, so it's going to be just do that, right? So it's going to be 66.8 divided by 8, right? So 8, 8 times 8 is 64, and I uh, have 28, so it's going to be 3 and times 8 is 24. And a 4 left over, so 40, so it's going to be 5 and 40. All right. So you can see that uh, 8.35 is the percentage goal of the unknown compound. But you can see that uh, 8.35 is right there. So we know that the compound E is the one we are looking for. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.